women are the real architects of the society. Good morning to all the honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure to celebrate this International Women's Day with you all and share my thoughts on this day. International Women's Day was observed for the first time in 1911. Since then, every year on the 8th of March, womanhood is celebrated all around the world to honor all the astounding women in our lives and all the extraordinary women history has witnessed. This day is particularly observed to acknowledge the achievements of women in various aspects of life. As said by Harriet Beecher Stowe, a famous American author, women really do build a society. They build not only themselves, but a whole community. Yet history has failed the women many a time to represent what a woman can be. There cannot be just a day to celebrate a woman. Every day should be a day where we respect the divinity of women. International Women's Day is celebrated every year with huge enthusiasm around the world to celebrate the achievements of women in social, political, economic, and other fields of life. Today, women rule almost in every field of life and work, at par with men. We cannot deny that be it at home or at work, they do it all with so much zeal and ace, in each one of it in their own way. International Women's Day was created to put forward and express an idea to the world that each gender deserves to be treated as equal. The day was aimed to present the aspects of the life of women in a man's world. To create changes in the mindset of the world. To create a positive impact on the world. It is also important to raise awareness about women's rights and gender parity. We can all agree that no country has achieved gender equality yet, there are few places where the concept of gender equality does not even exist. Around the world, women are not given equal opportunities. There are countries where they are denied to raise a point about their lives and how they are treated. Girl-child abuse is common in many places where many crimes like child marriages, gender-based are done and all this discrimination a woman faces is on the basis of one chromosome. For ages, men have had more privileges in every aspect of life in society, which could be good pay scale, social status, or voting rights percentage, but now we are living in the 21st century, and the world is slowly moving towards gender balance. It's moving towards equality for both men and women, which could include equal pay scale, social status, and equal voting rights for women. This change is necessary, and it is required around the world because, we all are humans and equal opportunities and respect should be given to everyone. So it is important to have a day that reaches out and helps in solving all the discriminations that are happening against women. Educational institutions are now open to celebrate Women's Day. It's a sign of progress, and they are teaching students to honor and respect a woman. Today, women hold the topmost positions in every sector and play the best roles history will ever witness. Now, men are standing up as allies to work for the upliftment of women, which is exactly what women from the 1800s would have imagined a world to be. Today, movements like Me Too have created a mass movement where each woman stands up equal to a man without any fear. Women are empowered to say, and many women are now in the lead roles, but there are still others who get neglected. So, this International Day, let us all show appreciation, respect, and love, to all the incredible women in our lives, be it your mother, wife, or daughter. Let us show, that we are proud of their efforts, and pledge to create a world, where women do not have to face any affliction. Let us recognize the significance of women, and inspire them to be self-sufficient, as they can also contribute to the world. I want to end my speech with a beautiful quote by, Michelle Obama. There is no limit to what we as women can accomplish, thank you, 